All right, kids, so as you know, we just love Pac-Man. And I just found out that they made some Pac-Man Connects items, so today, oh, check it out. We've got some places to unbox. What? Oh, Pac-Man Connects. Oh, I never heard of these. Yeah, me neither, Slimy Steve. So they must have made these before we even started our Puppy Steve channel. So today, we're gonna unbox the entire set. Oh yeah, cool. All right, kids, so today we're looking at these cool Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures playsets featuring that good old Pac-Man in the Kinext action figure line. And boy, this is really cool because this is based off that cartoon that came out a couple years ago. And not only do we get Pac-Man, but look at this. We get the, uh, ooh, the red Pac-Man guy and the girl Pac-Man guy and, ooh, an evil Pac-Man guy too. Making four sets in all to unbox in this really cool playset. And I guess you... Supposed to put these things all together at the very end to make one giant playset. Nice, and we'll do all that later. But first up, we're gonna open up this first box here featuring Pac Man and, ooh, the Red Ghost Monster. Nice, and this is called the Pax Pac World Playset. So let's see, get this thing out of here. Hey, Bob Bam! We have ourselves, ooh, part of a Pac Man maze. Well, doesn't this look cool? Straight from the video game comes this maze that looks all hedge like. And it actually looks like a Pac-Man maze on top. And of course, once we get more of these, it's going to make it look like an actual Pac-Man level. It looks like we also get these little power pellets to place onto the uh, game board here for Pac-Man to go around and chomp. Oh, yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Boy, that's neat. And it looks like we also get this sign, which says, let's see, Maze 256, Labyrinth 256. Oh, you know why? Because in the original game of Pac-Man, there's... 256 levels before you get to that kill screen, which ends the game. And there we go. That is the level put together. Now we just need some figures. And if it's figures you want, it's figures you get. Let's see, let's get these out of the box here. It looks like we get two in all. And first up, oh, it's the cool figure of Pac-Man. And just check this guy out up close and personal. Wow, they did a great job on this guy. And if it's one thing I can say about Kinex is they always make great action figures of video game characters like good old Mario here because they did all kinds of Mario ones and yep now they did Pac-Man it's got hands it's got those cool feet with the shoes on it and I just love the expression on his face yeah <laughs> and oh cool look at this his mouth opens up yum, 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 yum. there's a hole inside so we can put one of those pack pellets in so let's see get in there and we push down and boom <laughs> <laughs> I can explode out the mouth there bleh, and kill all the bad guys, I guess. And let's see, the next figure we get is the Red Ghost Monster. No articulation on this guy, but he's just a hovering ghost monster, which... Oh, weird. Let's see, if we push it on his back here... Oh, his eyes pop out. Not sure why they did that, but... Oh, wait a minute, that's probably why. There's a little nodule in the middle there, which if we put this back in, ugh, like so, the nodule's now directly... In the center of his body there. Oh, I see what that's for. So if we get a little piece, we can actually make him hover off the ground. Oddly enough, this box doesn't come with any extra pieces to make him do that. Ah, oh, for crying out loud. Since that's the case, we're gonna have to go over to our Mario figures here and get this little base I made for Bullet Bill because he hovers and get this piece out there and use this piece to make this red ghost hover. So let's see, let's put this directly uh, right there. And ta-da! Ooh, he's now hovering with the help of Bullet Bill's base. Not sure why they just didn't give us one, but there he is. Super cool red ghost monster. <laughs> and of course, now we can put this ghost monster into the level here. You can float around there while Pac-Man comes in through the doorway looking for some ghosts. Hey, come here, you! Oh no, ah, he's coming to get me! <laughs> Go get him! <laughs> All right, boy, what a cool level, but I think I'm gonna need some more to attach to this one. Okay, so we've got three playsets left, and next up we'll look at Spiral's Pack World Maze. Ooh, we get the uh, red Pac-Man guy next, which, ooh, uh, get this out of the package here. We see that, ah, oh, cool, more little mazes, which are different from the other one. Just a little bit in style. All right, cool, it also comes with another one of these signages. It says caution, <laughs> there's caution tape all over it. So no, 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 don't come in here. And there we go, there is our level with, let's see, ooh, we get some yellow pack pellets this time, like so. 
And as for figures, well, first up is the red Pac-Man guy here. <laughs> I love his the shape of his body. It's all oblongish. He's got some hair sprouting out the top there. And the crazy thing about this character is he also comes with an accessory of a gun. Oh, man, what's he going to do with that? <laughs> you just can't eat the power pellets like old Pac-Man? Ah, oh, weird, but yep, there he is. He's got a ghost gun in his hand, and he looks ready for battle. With the ghost monster that comes with this playset, ooh, we get the purple ghost monster. So this guy looks exactly the same as the red one. So it looks like the same character, only different color plastic. And yep, everything about him is the same, but the old downside is that, well, he doesn't come with a base either. Oh, for crying out loud, looks like we're gonna have to another, use another one from our Mario set. And ta-da, we have ourselves another floating ghost. Nice, now we've got two floating ghosts for our really cool maze. So let's see, let's go ahead and merge both these playsets together. And if we look at the package here, let's see, it looks like we're just supposed to put these prongs together like so. And, oh, cool, ta-da, looks like we did it. Both playsets are now together. So now we get one giant playset for our figures. So let's see, let's go ahead and put Pac-Man right there. And then we'll put the red Pac-Man right here. And then we'll put both ghost monsters inside. Ah, oh, cool, now this thing's coming together. <laughs> get him. Okay, let's grab another set out of here and keep the fun going. And this time we've got the girl Pac-Man with, let's see, Cylindria's Netherworld Maze playset. Cool, so that's what that's called. And what's getting this place out of the box? Whoa, check it out. This is a different colored maze. Let's see, this one is green and tan, and this one is orange and fiery. Oh, no wonder they call it the Netherworld. And it looks like we also get another one of those banners here. It says, we warned ya. Oh man, so where's Pac-Man going? They has gotta go to the Netherworld. Not sure, but let's see, put this right there. And first up is that girl Pac-Man. Oh, she's all pink in color. And ooh, look, she's got glasses. All kinds of parts coming off her body here. Like the pigtails and the glasses. That's pretty cool. And she also comes with a gun. Ooh, for blasting those ghost monsters. And then over here we get the green ghost monster, which looks kind of faded. <laughs> oh man, it should be a brighter green, I'm thinking. Well, that's all right. But right, let's see, we gotta stand them up, so we'll borrow another one of these stands from the Mario set. And there we go. Ta-da! We've got the hovering green ghost to go with our other ghosts. Boy, we're getting quite the collection here. Oh, I love it. And put them in this dangerous netherworld. Whoa, now that's pretty dangerous. Ha, <laughs> three ghosts in one little area here. Ugh, Pac-Man's not gonna survive long in that. Yep, you said it. Oh man, those stupid ghost monsters. Stupid? Who are you calling stupid? Uh, 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 no one. Now let's get them, boys. Come on, let's go. Oh man, Pac's on the run. Okay, so now that the Pac-Man goes our way, let's see, let's put all these playsets together. And it looks like, hmm, to do that, we have to take this part off and put this over here and connect this right there. All right, nice, and it's looking just like the box here. Oh, now that's what I'm talking about. And since we're down to our very last maze piece, I wonder what pack pellets we're gonna get in this. Okay, so let's see, this is called the Betrayus Netherworld playset. So yep, keeping with the Netherworld theme. It looks like we got a bad guy this time around for the action figure. So after getting this out of the package and built, we get another ooh, scary Netherworld scene with this little signage, which says, warning, don't come in here. It's a bad guy's area. And as for figures, let's see what this comes with. Oh man, <laughs> ah, so it looks like we get, ooh, bright red power pellets. And as for the main guy here, ooh, we get a little hover stand. The first one we've gotten so far for our, ooh, our bad guy ghost. Oh man, good old Petraeus. And he looks pretty cool, he's got that mustache. And he's kind of floating with all those appendages on the bottom there. Oh man, this guy's super dangerous. I just wish we got more bases for these ghost monsters. Cause look at this, now we get the blue one. So let's grab one more stand from our Mario playsets. Ugh, and get him a standing. All right, cool. So now we can bring in our other ghosts. It looks like we've got all four of them coming at ya. All right, now that's what I'm talking about. And of course with their main leader, good old Betrayus. Ooh, we've got all the bad guys coming at us for these really cool Pac-Man playsets. I wanna put this last playset right here so we can hook them all together. 
So we'll just smash these pieces together like uh, so. Oh, check it out. We now have our entire level maze for this Pac-Man playset. So let's see, let's put Pac-Man in here. And we've got those crazy ghosts, so let's put them in the nether. Then we've got the evil Petraeus. So we'll put him right there. And then we'll put the other two Pac-Man good guys over here, where it's all nice and green, because it's not scary at all. Hey guys, watch out for those ghost monsters. Boy, they're dangerous. And ta-da! We have our Pac-Man playset ready to go. And boy, this is really neat. Look at all the bad guys over there, the good guys over here. Oh, what a cool playset. And then, of course, when these ghost monsters decide to come over here. Hey, what's going on, Pac-Man? How's it going? Uh-oh, you better run. I'm going to eat you. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> he goes back to his own corner. All right, kids. Well, there's the entire Pac-Man playset coming at you with all four pieces. And if you end up getting all four playsets, well, you'll get all these amazing figures that go with them. All right, kids. Well, there they are. The Pac-Man playset's coming at you. And like I said, these came out back in 2013. So if you want to pick these up in stores, well, good luck. You're not going to find them. You're going to have to go on eBay. And thankfully, the prices on these things have come down pretty much. So you can pick up a whole set pretty cheap. 